Ladies and gentlemen, on the line with us, the Hot 97 Morning Show, this is Bun B. Rumors have it. Yay! That Bun B is running for mayor no. of Houston no. in 2015. Wow. What? Is this true? No, nah, there's a lot of people raising this notion of me running for mayor of Houston in 2015. Um, you sound like a politician right now, bro. Yep. Come on. <laughs> let me just, let me let me get my Chris Christie on. <laughs> <laughs> and while it, it it does seem you know inviting, I don't think 2015 is the right time for me to just jump from one arena to another. I probably you know would have to run for maybe a city councilman spot at some point before I made that that big of a jump. Well, so the answer we're getting here is, is you do have somewhat serious political aspirations. You just don't think it would be prudent to jump right to mayor in 2015. Well, I'm still doing my day job right now. I have no reason to want to leave my day job right now. Your day job, you mean college professor? College professor? No, 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 no. My day job is an I'm an MC. (laughs) Talk about it. Yeah, he means rapping and getting free clothes. (laughs) And money. For the most part. If you did run for a political office, when you walk up to that microphone... You might have to drop bars for those votes, my G. It's a popularity contest. Of course, I could probably get some votes, but then if J.J. Watt from the Texans decided he wanted to run for mayor, oh, that's a, a problem. He's a more popular person in Houston than I am, so he would get more votes than me. It's um, like J.J. Watt's said. a football player. Oh, right, 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 yeah. So in 2015, you will not be running for mayor, but it could happen sometime after that. Well, yeah, I would love to be um, one of hip-hop's first real representation. I would definitely support it. You're a committed husband. You're a committed family man. Your 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 intelligence level is very high. You're articulate. Like there's a lot of reasons. Now we just got to get you to learn the ins and outs of that mess called government and politics, so you can navigate it right. Well, that's where the you know running for city councilman and kind of getting your feet wet, so to speak. Because that, like I said, you don't want to just jump out there and next thing you know you're mayor and you can't really commit to the position. You can't really come through for people. And then you're looking like Kwame, and they're already calling Kwame the hip-hop mayor and all of that. Yo, I hate that. Kwame Kilpatrick, Detroit, the hip-hop mayor. I think it's Kwame. Kwame Kilpatrick. Not Kwame Kwame with the polka dots. No? Oh, man. (laughs) Yo, thanks, Bun. Go get some sleep, man. No, I'm up now. Y'all do that for me. I'm up now. I got to get ready for the gym or whatever now. Yo, we appreciate you, sir. Have a great day, man.